close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in and all the way out. Where do you feel the breath as you breathe in? Where do you feel it as you breathe out? And how does it feel? Does it feel comfortable? Does it feel refreshing? It should feel refreshing, because after all, the breath is the force of life. It keeps this body alive. If it feels labored or difficult, okay, there's something wrong. So see what you do to change the breath if it's not comfortable. If it is, try to keep it that way. And let that sense of ease spread out to fill the whole body. It's a sense of coolness, a sense of refreshment. This is really important, and it's not just a relaxation technique, but it's something you want to carry with you as you go through the day, the sense of being able to breathe in, breathe out in a way that feels really good, and keeping that in mind as you go through the day, because you're going to need this source of coolness. Think of it as a lake you have inside you, because as we all know, we live in a flammable world, and it's a world where there's always sparks to catch our minds on fire. If the mind is hot and dry, okay, it's not going to be able to withstand the spark. It's going to catch on fire, too. You may have noticed the cloud of smoke off on the eastern horizon this morning. The fire season has started. That's what's different about the grass around here, is that the fire season happens only certain months of the year, but human beings have a fire season year-round, as long as they're not taking care of their minds. And so when you realize you live in a fire season, there are two things you have to wor worry about. One is making sure that you're not careless and throwing out a few through sparks here and there to catch other people on fire. And at the same time, you want to make sure that your mind is not flammable. Other people can throw sparks at you, and if you're a lake, the sparks just go in the lake and they cool down. Now, it's not just a matter of gritting your teeth and bearing it. If you really do have a sense of refreshment coming inside, you look at other people's actions and you realize, well, those are their actions, those are their words. They don't have to catch you on fire. Otherwise, the human, human race just burns up. We have huge conflagrations, just like the, the brush fires we have around here. A lot of flammable people, a lot of careless people, and everything goes up in smoke. And so you can't control other people's behavior. You can't make sure that they're careful all the time, that they're not flammable. But you can look after your own mind in those two ways. One is don't go throwing out sparks. In other words, before you say something to someone, try to gauge what you think the reaction is going to be. And if it's all it's going to do is get the other person angry, why say it? There are lots of other ways of criticizing people that are a lot less destructive. And if someone's doing something wrong, it's not that you don't say anything, but you learn how to say it in a way that's respectful. Don't show any disdain for the person. Don't show any contempt. Try to be helpful. Think of this person probably doesn't know, and even if they do know, but they've forgotten. If they know and they haven't forgotten, but what can you do to make them see that it's really important that they change their ways? Okay, that's really helpful. If they see that you're making that kind of effort, they're much less likely to flare up on you. And as for other people, when they start flaring up at you, you have to remember, well, one, maybe they're not really angry at you, maybe they're angry at somebody else. And even if they are angry at you, it's not going to help the situation if you flare up in response. That'll surprise them if you don't flare up. And then when you catch them off balance like that, then you figure, okay, what's the best way of handling this situa situation to keep things cool? At the very least, make sure that you stay cool all throughout. So that working with the breath like this, working with the meditation like this, is one way to make sure your mind is like a lake. A fire comes to the edge of the lake and it doesn't catch the lake on fire unless there's oil in the lake. But if the, oil, if the lake is full of clean, clear water, the, the lake is not going to catch on fire. So that's the kind of quality you want to develop in your own mind. Cool, clear water. So the fires come to the edge of the lake and they go out. Don't let them spread into the mind. So try to keep this sense of coolness, this sense of refreshment going as much as you can. It's free. All it requires is that you keep it in mind. Give it a little bit of attention and it'll stay right there. So make sure you've got this in your firefighting arsenal. so that you're not careless in your words and that you keep your mind cool. Okay, wh whatever huge forest fires there are in the world, make sure they don't spread into you. So we have little green patches of the world that can survive after the fire has passed. <laughs>